Another issue today, our loader took a dump. 1,600 hours on it. Um, I We thought it was the engine this morning. I did. When you started it, it had a really bad vibration to it. Well, ended up being under warranty. Miller Bradford came out and it is the drive shaft um, U-joint. So they're putting a new U-joint on, replacing the drive shaft. So right now, it's sitting in front of the haylage pile. We need to get it out of the way so we can feed in the morning. And um, we, they got it in neutral, so we just gotta pull it. So we're gonna try pulling it over there. We're gonna try pulling it over there on the other side of the corn silage with the heavy Chevy, see what happens here. So I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not, but we're gonna try it. Okay, back up a little bit over here. Hey everybody, you're watching Echowood Holstein's YouTube channel. Um, it's March 1st, actually, today, isn't it? Yep. And it is just beautiful outside. Not typical for Wisconsin. Like, the ground is not frozen, but it's not even soft. It's, well, I mean, it's a little smeary on top. But we got a, doing a project here. This, these fields here, we ended up buying this. It's 55 acres. And the bottom part of it, is really poorly drained and at one time there was a ditch that went across the bottom of the field and we're digging that ditch out again because the water comes down here to the bottom and actually there's a high spot water comes down the field and then it goes to a high spot and it doesn't even make it to the ditch and the ditch was all full so we dug the ditch out and this ground is actually considered pc with the um which means prior converted. It had drain tile back in the 60s or 70s. So we're allowed to take this dirt and fill in low spots or do whatever we want with it. So that's what we're gonna do. Basically, we're gonna take it take it all and, and uh, spread it out and drain it over here towards the ditch so that uh, there's a nice, so there's a nice slope to it and it all drains here in the ditch. So sounds like a good idea to me. But it's kind of, and then we're going to put some drain tile in the bottom end of this field and really try to straighten it out the right way. A couple springs in there, running water all the time. Even in the drought in the summertime, they'll be running water. But uh, yeah, they've been pretty much digging most of the day here. A lot more dirt than I thought there'd be in them piles. And it goes out there to the road. We stayed on the right side of the cattails because you really aren't supposed to be disturbing cattails, even though they're right in front of the culverts. That's where the waterway went. But uh, we didn't we didn't uh, mess with the cattails. Uh-uh. So anyhow, we'll go uh, go down there and show you what how they're digging it. And the, there's a guy holding the transit and another guy in the back hole. There's all pretty here. fence in that one. Oh, you should grab that post. There's two of them. It's okay. Like wound up. Really? There's another. No, that's wow. Yeah, that won't be good in the field. Fence posts and tires. Not a good combination. No. Are there tires in there? Ah, uh, tractor tires. Like if we run it over the tractor tire, it'll poke through the tractor tire. And then what'll happen? And then what? It'd be flat. Probably. Right in a big hole in it, right? Junk tire. So. Right? All right, well, let's go down there and check this operation out. Can I get in there? Yeah, there's a lot of dirt there. But once you spread it out, I don't think it'll look so like so much, obviously. So over here, 
over here in this area, this field, we actually want to drive through from this end to that end. So we're just making a real shallow ditch, and then we're going to go along the edge with the bulldozer and take the edge off so there's no sharp, like, hump to drive over. It'll be nice and gradual. That's the plan here. So, Dad, you're going to put it, the dirt in and then drive over it a few times? Off of what? Off the end that I was just talking about? Yeah. No, we'll just take a bulldozer and we'll take this edge right here along the waterway and angle the blade and take a little bit of this hump off. So when we drive through it, it's not like you don't like dip it down really hard. It's nice and gradual. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You want to do that with the bulldozer? So no. no, we don't have a bulldozer. We got a Steiger, but yeah, need, need so a Nina excavator. Has a bulldozer. Uh, right. Why is there concrete chunks out here? No, that's concrete. Dumped a bunch of somebody dumped a bunch of junk out here. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. It is windy. So this dirt on this side is really black dirt. It's kind of wet right now, but on the other side, there's a little bit of clay mixed in where we dug the ditch deeper. But this side's pretty black stuff. Really black dirt. Just needs to dry out a little bit. Huh? You see that? You see how this dirt is like black almost and that down there is kind of yellowish? Yeah. That's clay. Oh. Yeah, sandy clay. Why is that green? Because it's warm out. Well, March no, 1st and the gator. grass is greening up. No, it's because of the gator. No, it's not. Look over here. This is green. That's crazy. Oh. It's March 1st. Huh? It's Wisconsin. That's green grass. Like what? Like color. Oh, that? That's from the gator, from the reflection. Wait a minute. No, it's Prime manure. No. So we gotta go down here to the end, down about where that dead tree is, yeah. And this way is all done. But this field, we wanna drive. We actually wanna drive through here from all the way on that end by the trees all the way down all the way up to the road so that's why we want a shallow ditch here I mean, if it's nice out we can drive through it if it's if it's not nice out we won't drive through it because once you get ruts in a ditch they just mess it up and uh like when you're doing hay you should be able to drive through most of the time but if you're chopping corn and it's soft out we'll have to go not drive through it you have to drive around it so just management so you don't wreck what works you fix it so it works nice you don't want to drive through it and make ruts because then the the ruts will actually stop the water because you have a high spot from the mud getting pushed up and then it'll be wet up on the upper side of it so yeah just gotta take good care of it actually is what we were talking about I just said we want to turn this field all into one field, but we were talking more, the field over there that's more of a tan color was ours already. And then we bought this and there was a fence line up there that we ripped out. We should, um, we're actually thinking about farming this side as one and then across the ditch over here, farming this all as one. But you'd still have the option, like when you're hauling loads and stuff, if you get full down on, this end of this field to cross the ditch and go back to the farm go back to the farm that way because it's a lot closer yeah so right there is the ditch we cleaned out it actually looks really nice i'm trying to go far but it's so windy yeah it's really windy out here so that we're having a problem with the drone probably shouldn't be flying but that's huh probably shouldn't be flying but it's, it's where you at you Thank you. 
You can see the farm in the upper left corner of the picture. So we're really, we're not very far from the buildings. Yep, Jared's just following the path right now. There's our sand pit up there in the background. And then there's the farm on the upper left corner. And then, so we're gonna go right about in the center of the screen. You see those two waterways coming from the farm direction that's where we're going to stop with the because that's not our land that's Gary's but we'll drain that so his waterways come into this one and it all drains nice out to the road so he's checking on his laser right now yeah now it's working but he's got a laser set up I don't know where he's, oh, he's got his tripod over there. And then he's holding that stick up and down. So the guy in the back who knows how deep, so it drains the right way. While the backhoe was here, we had him clean this ditch out here too. You can see all the all the uh, dirt that he dug out of the ditch. We'll just push it around that field and level it out. That clump of trees, that pile of trees, was all pretty much along this ditch and in the ditch. And we just got it cleaned up good so that it drains and better farmland. Farmland's getting expensive and it doesn't pay to leave. 40 feet, 40 feet on the edge of the field that you can't farm with. All you gotta do is clean it up a little bit and be able to farm it. So, been working at that pretty hard this winter, mowing fence lines and cleaning things up. It's not supposed to run into something. So, okay. it's not working. Check. It moves itself, huh? It should, yeah. It's supposed to move. 